Uh, it's like the magic happens in this classroom every single minute. Wonderful things that they get really excited about is Skyping, Skyping with uh, mystery Skyping around the world. But the most interesting and phenomenal thing that I've seen is that all you have to do is tell them that it's going to be a mystery Skype someplace in a, one of the other, like the southern hemisphere, for example. And they quickly get out a globe and they look at the longitude and latitude lines, they look at the continents and the oceans, and then they start asking all of these wonderful questions, they're very high level questions. And I thought, well, we haven't even taught them that, but they, it's, it, they're so interested in what they're doing that they, it's self learning. They, they teach themselves about these things in many ways. It's, uh, they're learning leaps and bounds about geography, and it's just amazing, just amazing. But, um, just the technology alone does for the students. At the beginning, we were just, just like a normal um, computer class. One time, he gave them a special task, and it was iSquad. He already had everything planned. He just needed someone to do it. Working as a team helped us to um, communicate with each other, and also it helped us to um, trade uh, more uh, well with uh, the customers. It teaches uh, customer service. My vision of ice, but it's not just repairing iPads, it's like, like it can change the way we learn in school. I have this way of seeing ice squad, like something bigger, because having like an ice squad in each school, having a, an ice squad team will help uh, all the kids with their iPads, encourage the, the the districts uh, to have their own ice squad and changing the use of, of books or notebooks and being like a, a school with less paper, using less paper and saving more trees. Like if you, this goes like out to the state or to the country or maybe who knows around the world, we can like make every school using less paper and everything, using technology and having a team like ice squad to back up, like solve the problems, like because that's what we do, and that's my beach. Uh, with Erasma, we have the uh, live interactive bulletins in the classroom where students can go and actually point their iPad and a live video lesson uh, will show up. Uh, students can open their books, and as soon as they open their book and they can point their iPad on a certain lesson, and a lot, a lesson, recorded lesson, will show up. So a student can watch a lesson as many times as they wish to, and uh, it's just always there. It reteaches and it's ready access, on demand access. Today we'll be talking about growth mindset versus a fixed mindset. We could, we could all challenge ourselves. When we fell, we learned. Tell me you tread hard. So right now we have a lot of QR codes. We have physical science and earth science. Yeah, so now we, if we scan either one of all these, it will show right there. So she scanned an earthquake one, and it will show, you know, many clips about earthquakes. What we worked on here at Becca School was Adobe Voice. 
we had the kinders and the TKs. They did projects that they got to do at home with their parents, but we needed some way to be able to share it. So we went to Samurai and we learned how to use Adobe Voice. What happens with Adobe Voice is you can record and take pictures and the students themselves can do this. We also worked on how they were gonna say their story, what some of the lines were, they explained it to us, and it got to be a little production. After we got all these little stories that were just awesome, it was a way for us to be able to display them. So now we wanna display them for everyone to see. My name is Tatania and my story's name is the Green Billy Goat. The goats wanted to live in the desert and they wanted to go to the grass. Me. And I said, um, I think I'm brave enough to go past the troll. And the next one said, it's my turn. And then, and then this Billy Goat um, hit the troll off the bridge. And and the troll fell off the bridge. And they all lived happily after after the end. <laughs>